All right. In this video, real quick, like I'm going to show you the difference between working with a record key versus working with a field cache in your reporting. Um, ultimately, what I want to have in my report is I want to show customer number and customer name. And I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it. With a record key, what I'll do is I'll say NL rows, make a list of customers. Maybe I want to cu show customers who have a balance. So I'll say balance does not equal zero. By definition, by leaving the field argument blank, I am creating a record key. If you want to parse through this record key, okay, what is this telling me? All right, NAV 2015, that's the name of my data source. Cronus International, that's the name of my company. 18 is the table number for a customer. And the value, or the field, one, uniquely identifies one record in the customer table. You might say, well, how do I identify a record in the customer table? It is the number field. But I don't want to show this in my report. That's really ugly. So if I want to show you know, my final, what, <laughs> what I'll actually do is I'll hide column B. That's what's going to happen at the end of the day. Um, but then I'm going to say, all right, I want to show the field number. I'll use an NF function. And OK, OK, what is my record key? Well, this is my record key. This is the pointer. It's the address of a record in NAV. And then I'll say, all right, good. Show me the field called number. Piece of cake. And look, they're the same. How interesting. Next, I'll say, all right, I want to show the field name. So I'll say NF. Here's the record key. And show me the field name. All right. In the grand scheme of life, what is it actually doing? A record key, let me make some space up here, all right. A record key is the pointer or address of a record in a table. That's what it is. It's just the pointer. And then the NF function, the NF function extracts data from the table. And I'm going to make that in caps here. It actually queries a table and says, OK, what is the field value for number? What is the field value for name? That is what the NF function does. Now, on the field cache side, it's a little bit different. Um, in this case, I'll say, OK, make a list in rows. Show me the customer table. Let's add our filter. Balance does not equal 0. This is not a field cache. This is a record key. Right, because currently the field argument is blank. Now, to make it a field cache, I will explicitly choose the fields that I want in my report. So I'll say, OK, I want to show the field number, and I want to show the field name. OK, and then what I actually put in here is an array, or basically two fields. And what JET is going to do is it's going to say, OK, calculate the unique combinations of number and name. Notice here that the actual field values for number and name are stored in column B. And that's a departure from the record key, because the record key was just the address of the record, whereas with the field cache, we actually store field values in Excel. I actually store the field values in Excel. When I get to my NF function, I'll put in my field cache. I'll put in the field I want to retrieve. But this NF function doesn't actually extract the data from NAV. It doesn't go to NAV. It just parses this string. And you can think of it as an overglorified mid function. It just parses a string and say, OK, find the field number one. Aha, there's the value. Find the field number two and show me the name. When I run my report, you know, the output between the record key model and the field cache model, it looks the same. But if I unhide column B, let's look at how different my record key is. So here, my record key just says, here are the pointer or the address to a record. 
and then the nf function returns the actual field. Whereas here, in my field cache model, the data is already stored in Excel in column B. And all the NF function do, has to do is parse it and say, OK, which part of this string belongs to the number? Which part of this string belongs to the name? All right, what are the implications when I want to add another field? If I want to add the field, let's say balance, I want to show the balance of this account. I'll say, same process, give me the NF of the balance. And then here, in the field cache, I'll do the same thing, nf of the balance. And magically, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? With a record key, I can say, OK, go use this pointer to find a record in nav, and then retrieve the field called balance. And that's fine. With this nf function, I'm saying, OK, use this field cache, parse the field cache, and find the field balance. And you can see balance is not in my field cache. In fact, when I press the debug button, it tells me mm -hmm, the field balance is not provided, is not in the provided field cache. So what is the answer? The solution is go into the JFX and then add balance. And then magically it works. Notice how longer my field cache, how much longer my field cache just got. Um, in terms of actual output between the two reports, it looks the same. But if I unhide, right, here this is just a pointer. And with the field cache, you actually have to store every single field you want to see in your report.